Welcome back to our last week of Rocky Railway. Can we believe we're already ending? I can't stand it. We have been trusting Jesus to pull us through life's ups and downs. It's been, ha it's been so much fun having everyone riding the rails with us here in the Rocky Railway. A long time ago, trains were the best way to get a really far distance. For me, the longest distance I've ever gone is from Dallas, Texas to Los Angeles, California, and we drove in a station wagon. Oh, in the middle of the summer, it was so hot. And I got the very back of the station wagon, so I just rolled around back there, and I read books, and we played games with my sister, but it was a long trip. What's the longest trip you've ever been? How long did it take, and what did you do on that trip? Take a little bit of time with your family and talk about the longest trip you've been on. In fact, maybe ask your mom or dad what's the longest trip they've ever been on and what did they do? When people started using trains in North America, they couldn't get all the way across the U.S. in one train. The train that covered one part of country, and then there was a train that covered the other part of the country, but they didn't connect. So finally, they made these tracks connect. It was such a big deal that they got a gold spike to seal the deal on the track. So they nailed that gold spike down and that sealed the deal. And now you can get from one end of the U.S. to the other end of the U.S. Pretty cool, huh? This summer, we're discovering how we're connected to Jesus' power. That makes me want to celebrate. I mean, how awesome is that? All summer long, we've been celebrating Jesus' power and God's awesomeness by sharing our God sightings. God sightings are pretty much just evidence of God. We see them here at church. You might see them at the pool, at the park, at school, everywhere. I have a lot of God sightings, but one that comes to mind is so fantastic. We went to the lake to baptize my youngest daughter. This was years ago, and it was on a Saturday at 10 o'clock, and we invited a lot of friends, a lot of family to come celebrate and watch her be baptized. Go figure, it was storming. We woke up at 8 o'clock that morning to lightning and thunder and black clouds and so much rain. Well, clearly we weren't going to be able to get into the lake and baptize my daughter. I didn't know what to do. So I got down on my knees and I thought, I've just got to pray to God. And I was super specific. And I said, God, please let it stop raining at 11 so we can baptize my sweet Tatum. Do you know what happened? At 1056, the clouds opened up and the sun shone through. It was literally like the gates of heaven just opened. It was so Awesome. And it was such a fun guide sighting to share with everyone that got there until they didn't think they'd be able to come, but they were able to see her get baptized because of God, because he answered that prayer. And that was my big God sighting. Can you think of a surprising place where you saw God's power? We can trust that God's going to work all around us, everywhere we go. Those tracks that we talked about earlier, they weren't connected at first. In order for them to get someone all the way across the U.S., they needed a connection. Well, the same is true for all of us. We need connection with other people so that we can be all that God made us to be. Today, we are learning that Jesus' power helps us be a good friend. Trust Jesus. Let's do that one more time. Jesus' power helps us be a good friend. Trust Jesus. That was good. God has blessed me with me fantastic friends and a lot of them and in fact a really hard time for me two years ago was when my sweet daddy went to heaven and I was so sad but you know what I had my friends support and love through it all that it made it so much better for me what is one thing that makes you a good friend or makes someone a good friend Jesus is the best friend ever because he shows his power with our Bible verse today. And listen to what it says. It comes straight from Jesus. It says this, love each other in the same way I have loved you. That is John 15, 12. Listen again, love each other in the same way that I have loved you. That I being Jesus, that's what he wants from us. I want you to work on that verse all day for me. It's been such a great day already. I can't even imagine what else is gonna happen. Oh, no, just wait for me right there. Thank you. No, no, no.
to stay there. I'll be right there. Oh. How, what's going on? You look pretty steamed up. <laughs> that's, that's good. Or it's almost like you're going off the rails. <laughs> really? This isn't helping. And you wouldn't even understand. It's a mechanic thing anyway. Oh, yeah. Try me. I bet I can creep on track with you. <laughs> oh, okay. Enough with the train jokes. Wait. One more. I'm listening. In fact, I'm all engineers. <laughs> Okay, no, no, okay. I'm listening. Okay, so on a train, there's two people. There's the mechanic engineer, me, and then there's a fireman, right? You know that. Like a fireman, like with the big red truck and a Dalmatian? No, 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 not that kind of fireman. A steam train fireman is the guy who is puts in the coal in the furnace to make the water and the boiler heat up so that the train can go. I'm tracking so far. I'm on it. This new guy on my crew, this new fireman, and he is driving me crazy. He will not stop talking. Oh, he's like, hello, Cam. How are you today? Uh, hey, what's your favorite color? My favorite color is purple. What's your favorite color? Oh, hey, how old are you? Oh, <laughs> that sounds super old. Were you there when trains were invented? Oh, let me tell you, let me tell you a joke. What do you call a freight train that's carrying gum? A uh, choo-choo train! <laughs> and then, okay, so let me just, uh, what? Cam, you don't like me? Come on, I'll, let me talk to you. Oh, I'm gonna think of a new joke to tell you. Let me think of something. You are so, okay, so. Wait just a minute. You don't sound like you're being a very nice friend to this new guy. In fact, you're being kind of mean by making fun of him. He, he just won't stop talking, and I, I don't even think that you would understand. I'm trying to do a job and someone just keeps interrupting. Okay, I think I have a pretty good idea of what that's like. Cam, loving others is such an important part of life. I mean, seriously, even when it's hard to be a good friend, you can ask Jesus for his help. In fact, that's our Bible point. Here we go. Jesus' power helps us be a good friend. Trust Jesus! Okay, but I mean, what if he just won't stop talking? Jesus' power helps us be a good friend. Trust Jesus. You can pray about it. Ask Jesus for strength and patience and for the eyes to see this new crew, crew member in the way that Jesus sees him. I mean, maybe this guy needs a listening ear. Maybe he's lonely. And you know what I have found? Sometimes the most annoying person is the person that needs a friendship the most. Well, I mean, we do have a long haul ahead of us. It's going to give me plenty of practice. But, you know, I think I'm going to need Jesus' power for this. W will you pray with me like w what you were talking about earlier? Of course I will. We're going to wrap up here, and then I'll pray before you leave on your trip. Who knows? Maybe Jesus put this new guy on your cr crew so you can show Jesus' love exactly the way he needs, like no one else. A uh, uh, me? Only a job that I can do? Oh, yes. Okay, well, I'm going to go finish getting the rest of the supplies for our trip, and then I want to pray. That sounds good. See you later, Cam. This week, we've learned truths from the Bible. On week one, we met Ramsey. This tough guy helps us remember Jesus' power helps us to do hard things. Trust Jesus. On week two, we met Ava a majestic bird who helps us to remember Jesus' power gives us hope. Trust Jesus. On week three, we met Sierra. This lovely mountain lion helps us to remember Jesus' power helps us to be bold. Trust Jesus. On week four, we met Finn, a terrific trout. Finn helps us remember Jesus' power lets us live forever. Trust Jesus. Well, we have one more buddy to meet. Let's check it out. I heard everyone was steaming ahead with the last day of Rocky Railway. Glad you're here. I'm Lawrence Elk, not a moose, not a ram, but an excellent elk. Male elks are called bulls, and me and my bull buddies like to hang out way up in the Rocky Mountains. In the winter, 
We move down where we can find grass. But in the spring and summer, we head for the hills. It's important that we stick together with the herd. Some elk herds are as big as 400 friends. Although my antlers are big and strong, female elk or babies don't have these. And a hungry bear is hard to fight off. Speaking of these amazing antlers, they are pretty incredible if I do say so myself. Sometimes they come in handy when other herds get too close to mine. Or I need to show another bull that I'm in charge. Yeah, sometimes we butt heads, even in our happy herd. But I try not to get too attached, literally. They fall off every year and I grow a new set. How cool is that? God also gave me a unique power to help me communicate with the herd. <clears throat> <clears throat> That's called bugling. It's a little like roaring and whistling at the same time. It keeps my herd close together where we can be safe. Our herd even has scouts. A few elk who stand watch while others graze. We have to look out for each other. Do you have friends who look out for you? Friends you like to call out to when you're sad or silly, happy or hurting? Or do you sometimes butt heads with your buddies? Maybe you need the power to forgive and love a friend when you're not getting along. You don't have to do that all by yourself. Jesus gives you his power to help be a good friend. Jesus gave this powerful command in the Bible. Love each other in the same way I have loved you. If you're butting heads with your buddies and not getting along, you can trust Jesus' power and follow his words. Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus. When we see Lauren's elk, you can remember that Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus. Hold your hands to the side of your head and make antlers. Friends, get your antlers on. Lauren's elk is a good leader to his herd. Are you a good friend to your herd? Let's pray. Jesus, thank you for always being our friend. Thank you for always being our leader and putting those in our path that are going to help us. And we pray in your name, amen. Cam, can you believe it's over? This five weeks is come to an end and I've had the best time learning all these things, hearing about your God sightings, don't forget. Be looking for God everywhere you go and then share it with somebody. Share it with somebody you know, share it with somebody you don't know. Just make sure you tell others about Jesus. It has been so much fun. I have learned so much. Thank you guys so much for teaching me so much about Jesus. I hope that y'all have learned as much as I have. And we hope that you have a, a great, great summer. summer. Trust Jesus! <laughs>